Hi friends! In our last lesson, we already learned what is LCM and how to find LCM. Now we'll be using the concept of LCM to solve the problems. Now let's start. Let's see, where do we have to use the concept of LCM? Here we have some questions. We have to find the least number which when divided by 6 or 8 gives the remainder 5. So how can you figure out this problem? I repeat, the question is find the lowest number which when divided by 6 or 8 gives the remainder of 5. Let's try to figure this out. We have to find a number x which when divided by 6 or 8 leaves a remainder of 5. So we need to find the least common multiple of 6 and 8 first. That is, first we have to find the least number which is divisible by 6 and 8. And then we will find the number which will give a remainder of 5 upon the division. And for that we will add 5 to the LCM. So let's find the LCM. Writing 6 and 8 in a row using the smallest prime number 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we got 3 and 4 in the next row. Again we'll use the number 2. 3 is not divisible by 2 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So now we have 3 and 2. 3 divided by 2 is not possible. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So now we have 3 and 1. Now use the number 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 divided by 3 is not possible, so you get 1. And now we have to find the product of all these prime numbers on the left side. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. This equals 24. So the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. Now we need to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8, which when divided gives a remainder of 5. Adding 5 to 24, we'll get 29. So the answer will be 29. Let's check. Divide 29 with 6 and 8. What will you find? In both cases, you will get a remainder of 5. I repeat, what was the question? We needed to find a number which when divided by 6 and 8 leaves a remainder of 5. So we did that by finding the LCM of 6 and 8 and then we got 24. So 24 is the least number which is divisible by 6 and 8. Now to find the number which when divided by 6 and 8 gives a remainder of 5, we added 5 to 24 to get 29. And then we checked our work and saw that when you divide 29 by 6 and 8, you get a remainder of 5. Now we need to find the least number which when divided by 8 and 12 or 6 gives the remainder 4. So this is a similar question. First we have to find the LCM. And for this, we need to find the LCM of 8, 12, and 6 comes out to be 24. Now we need to find the least number which when divided with one of these three numbers leaves a remainder of 4. So we have to add 4 to 24. And that will be our number x. So 24 plus 4 equals 28. Now let's check our answer. Is 28 right? 28 divided by 8, remainder is 4. 28 divided by 12, remainder is 4. 28 divided by 6, remainder is 4. So this is how we have to solve such a problem. Now here we have another question. Three speakers are installed, one after the other, after some distance. All three of them are turned on at the same time to play a tune. The tune changes in the first speaker every 60 seconds. In the second speaker, it changes every 80 seconds. And then in the last speaker, it changes every 120 seconds. I repeat, three speakers are installed one after the other 
and each are separated by some distance. The first speaker changes tune every 80 seconds. The second speaker changes every 80 seconds, and the third one changes every 120 seconds. And they are all turned on at the same time. After how long will the tune change in all three speakers at the same time? This question is not as difficult as it may seem. We just need to find the LCM of 60, 80, and 120 to get the least multiple of 60, 80, and 120. So let's find the LCM. All three numbers are divisible by 2. 60 divided by 2 is 30, 80 divided by 2 is 40, and 120 divided by 2 is 60. So write those three numbers below. Now again, we divide by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, 40 divided by 2 is 20, and 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now we divide again by 2. 15 divided by 2 is not possible, 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. 15 divided by 2 is not possible, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you have the numbers 15, 5, and 15. Now you have to divide by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 5 divided by 3 is not possible. So you get the numbers 5, 5, and 5. Now divide by 5, and you get 1, 1, and 1. Now multiply all the numbers on the left hand side. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And the final answer is 240. So the LCM is 240. Now 240 divided by 60 equals 4. So that means that the speaker A will change 4 times. Now 240 divided by 80 is 3. So speaker 2 will change 2 times. And 240 divided by 120. So the song in speaker 3 will change two times. So after 240 seconds, the song or the music will be changing at the same time in all the three speakers. So you need to use the LCM to solve these types of problems. So friends, today we have used So friends, today we have learned how to use the concept of LCM.